27 national game 2023 at Ponda Goa at the Goa Engineering College and uh, this is day 3 and you are watching the <coughs> team elimination of the uh, Indian round men and women. Uh, if you are watching these archers, these archers are shooting with a bamboo bow and uh, there are 3 archers who are shooting. In our team there are 4 archers. In the ranking round, the top 3 archers will be selected and they will be shooting. The fourth archer will be So you are watching uh, the men and women in action. Both archers, this is called a simultaneous shooting. There are two archers in simultaneous shooting and one is a alternate shooting. Simultaneous shooting, both the archers are shooting together. And uh, if you can see, the archers are absolutely in and the uh, shooting uh, uh, with the bows and the bows, they fall. The fall of the bows is uh, because they want uh, the follow through to happen so that uh, there is absolutely no top. In fact, the Indian archers are shooting uh, Better than even bigger water. Some of the Indian archers are shooting absolutely in the next. If you look at this uh, arrow which are hitting the gold, you can really be more struck because at that distance, the uh, bamboo arrows to be shot is very, very difficult. I think uh, uh, the archers are doing a fantastic job. It is a uh, uh, Tuesday uh, afternoon at the Go Engineering College that you are watching the second of the If an archer shoot, both archers are shooting, each are shoot, uh, uh, archer shooting three arrows, whoever shoots the highest score gets a set point, that is two points given. If an archer has shot five points, the team will be declared as the winner. If both of them shoot equally, each of them will get a one, one point each. In the case where there is a tie, where both archer <coughs> shoot, shot to be a decider to break the tie. Now you can watch all the archers uh, moving towards the targets to counter check how much they have shot. Uh, they will be followed by the judges who will uh, supervise the uh, In the, the elimination round, you have two uh, kinds of judges for that. We have the line judge and the target judge. The ta line judge uh, will uh, be in the line and the target judge will be in the target. The line judge gives a signal for uh, the uh, match to begin and uh, end and the target uh, judge uh, uh, gives a signal to show who which team has won in that particular set point. Let me again tell you that uh, the Indian round is done exactly like a, a, a recurve round and uh, right now you have uh, Assam uh, shooting uh, along with to Goa against Goa, Bihar shooting against Maharashtra, Haryana against SSCB and Chhattisgarh against uh, Jharkhand. You are watching the one by fourth team elimination of the Indian round men and women teams at the Goa Engineering College right here in Goa. And you are watching the 37th uh, national games in Goa get set Goa 2023. Judenge, Chienge or Jitenge. Both <coughs> Indian archers are coming inside. Two sets are already over. So as I told you, whoever wins in one set they get <coughs> if both of them score equally, they get one one set point. Whichever team gets five points is declared as the winner in the match. Uh, well, uh, you have Assam pitted against Goa in the men's event, uh, Bihar against Maharashtra, uh, Haryana against SSCB, Chhattisgarh against uh, Jharkhand. The men's event, the women's event, we have Manipur against Goa, Jharkhand uh, pitted against Maharashtra, Gujarat fighting with Uttar Pradesh and Telangana, and Assam starting it Ladies and gentlemen, if you can see the, the kind of uh, enthusiasm behind the team matches always evoke a lot of enthusiasm with the supporters of each team uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, giving uh, in uh, support from the back. Uh, I think that uh, you are watching some of the top uh, teams in the country and uh, uh, Indian archery is uh, going places. Uh, the Indian bow was discovered actually by uh, your own uh, Archery Association of India to replace the more expensive uh, Rico bow. The Rico bow costs about three and a half lakhs and the Indian bow just costs about 8,000 rupees. Uh, Indian arrow costs about 80 rupees and a Rico bow arrow costs about 4,000 rupees. So the Indian bow has been uh, is a special uh, uh, invention of the Indian archery and uh, actually the Indian bow is becoming very very popular with several uh, other countries uh, uh, acquiring it and having competition with the Indian bow. The Indian bow is as sophisticated as the Rika bow. 
with uh, stabilizers, long stabilizers, top stabilizers, plunger button, all made of indigenous material. Uh, what you are watching here is uh, right now the Indian round women's team quarterfinal matches and the Indian round uh, men team quarterfinal matches. And uh, among the women, Manipur is a very, very strong team. But Goa is also doing a good job. Jharkhand, as you still know, is a very, very powerful team uh, with a lot of tribals taking up to Indian archery and uh, doing extremely well. Uh, Gujarat is also doing a wonderful job. Now the archers are going again towards the targets to find out uh, how much they've scored in the third uh, end. As I told you, for all that you know, the, with, with the third end, the match itself might get over because if one uh, team has not won any points, then obviously the, the team will win. So for all that you know, at, in this end, many teams may be biting the dust and uh, there might be teams which will be winning. And uh, let me again remind you, is it going to be Assam versus Goa or Bihar versus Maharashtra? Is it going to be Haryana versus SSB, SSCB or Chhattisgarh versus uh, Jharkhand in the quarterfinals of the men and women Indian round and you are watching the archery Indian round events the quarterfinals in the Indian round at the Goa Engineering College uh, in Goa at the 37 national games we are moving now into the fourth set of the quarterfinals of the Indian round the men's team and the Indian round women's team matches in the earlier center, we had uh, Assam winning over Goa, we had Maharashtra winning over Bihar, and we had Chhattisgarh winning over Jharkhand. And in the uh, Indian round, the women's team, Manipur has already won over Goa, and uh, Assam has won over Telangana. Now, Uttar Pradesh is fighting uh, with Gujarat, and uh, uh, Jharkhand is fighting Maharashtra, as well as Haryana is fighting uh, SSCB. Uh, Haryana versus SSCB, uh, Indian round men at uh, target number 19 and target number 20. And uh, if uh, you can uh, look at the target number 25 and 26, the target is uh, fighting a Maharashtra and Gujarat against the Uttar Pradesh. This is going to be the last end because uh, in this end, either of the two teams will definitely be winning. So uh, uh, already uh, Assam has uh, got the five points. Uh, Assam, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, uh, Manipur, and uh, Assam have got five points. Uh, and so they have been declared the winner. And now uh, we are yet to see the results for. Uh, uh, three teams, uh, one team in the Indian round, men's uh, uh, and uh, two teams in the women's uh, matches. Uh, Jharkhand versus Maharashtra and Gujarat versus uh, uh, Uttar Pradesh. Looks like a tightly fought match. Uh, both the uh, archers are doing a wonderful job. But if you can see, uh, once an uh, archer shoots and he goes back to the waiting line, he gives a fiver to the other archer, encouraging him to shoot well. Uh, team matches are considered to be the most exciting. Uh, matches in archery because uh, it evokes a lot of uh, uh, support from uh, every team and uh, 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 the audience is also uh, enchanted by the results. Every archer is given uh, just about uh, 20 seconds to shoot an arrow and uh, cumulatively each uh, uh, archer is and the game is also over and uh, we will be having the results in a few minutes from now, uh, the judges and the archers uh, are moving towards the target, and uh, that is looks like a that looks like a tie. And let's watch uh, what's going to happen as far as the ties. But when there is a tie, both the teams will get uh, a chance to shoot one arrow each. So you can watch uh, uh, the uh, tie in a particular target, and whenever there is a tie, the target face is changed so that a new target face is there, so that there is a any error of uh, other holes being uh, uh, considered uh, is eliminated. So now let's watch uh, what happens in a tie. In a tie with all the teams, every archer gets to shoot one arrow, which means uh, uh, every state, uh, every team gets to shoot three arrows each. And uh, the arrows to the most, uh, the center of the, the target uh, will be announced as the winner. So let's uh, watch uh, uh, what is going to happen uh, right now in target number So it's uh, uh, between Haryana and SSCB in target number 19 and nine target number 20. They are changing the target faces and uh, let's uh, hold down and watch till uh, uh, the uh, archers shoot the arrow. It's a beautiful uh, afternoon on Tuesday here at the Go Engineering College and who are at the 37th uh, National Games uh, Get Set Go, Goa 2023. There is a tie in a target number 
19 and uh, 20. Well, uh, now Maharashtra has won in target number 26 uh, against uh, Jharkhand. So, Maharashtra is the winner uh, between uh, Jharkhand and Maharashtra. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, the tie is going to be between target number 19 and target number 20. As I told you again, we are at the Go Engineering College and you're watching a tie at the uh, quarterfinals Indian round of uh, team match. And uh, the tie is uh, between T19 and T20. And uh, yes, uh, Gujarat has uh, won the match and between uh, target number 27 and 28, that is uh, Gujarat has won over Uttar Pradesh. So Gujarat is the winner in the women's team uh, at the quarter point and uh, Let's check it out. I think uh, uh, the archers are ready as well as the, the uh, target buttresses also ready. Uh, new target uh, sheets have been put in the buttresses in 19 and uh, 20. There is a strong wind uh, here at the archery field and uh, you are watching a tie uh, between uh, Haryana and uh, SSCB in uh, the quarterfinals of the Indian <coughs> are coming down to the uh, shooting line and this is known as a, a, a consecutive shooting both the archers <coughs> every archer will be shooting uh, two arrows each either two arrows together or they'll come back again and uh, sorry they'll be shooting one arrow each this is a tie to break a tie so every team will shoot one one arrow each and the team that gets the maximum number of scores of whose arrow is uh, the center will be winning the match. So there's a lot of uh, action there right behind with the audience uh, supporting them and uh, the second uh, archer is also shot. Uh, well, uh, we, have, we are watching uh, SSCB shoot now. That's the third archer. Well, the second archer and the third archer has come and the last archer, the third archer of uh, Haryana team is now absolutely poised and looking there. That was a lovely release has taken the bow up just to make sure that the arrow does not go too much down. And uh, we have the final arrow in the tiebreaker uh, shot by SSCB and we are yet to see the result. <coughs> and, uh, zoom into the we will be able to have an idea of uh, who has won. So, well, the target uh, judge will be now moving towards the uh, buttresses and, uh, and well, along with the archers and uh, they will total up the points and see who has shot closest to the center. The team that has shot closest to center will be the winning team. It's always a heartbreak in a tiebreaker. It's not a tiebreaker, it's a heartbreaker because uh, both of them have scored equally that one arrow can decide uh, who the winning team is. This is all uh, about archery. In archery, you never know which team wins till the last arrow is shot. And in a tiebreaker, the heartbreak is too much because uh, uh, a small, even a small one mm difference can mean winning or losing. And you are watching the quarterfinal matches, uh, the Indian round matches, uh, the team matches at the Go Engineering College at the 37th International Games. And uh, uh, you have just watched a tiebreaker with uh, uh, Haryana and SSCB shooting one one arrow each. Uh, that is three arrows each. And uh, the target judges are looking at the arrows where they have landed. and. Uh, they will be giving a signal and telling you which team has won. So we need to wait till the target judge gives the signal to know which team has won. The archers are cross-checking their totals. They are cross-checking the totals and making sure that somebody has not made a mistake because one little mistake can mean uh, the uh, win or a loss. As you see, the target judge is now looking into the scores and uh, totaling the scores. And uh, by the way, the body language is, uh, I feel, the winner. We are asked. We are waiting for them to declare the winner. Uh, SSCB is uh, walking first. Uh, looks like it from the body language. Haryana has won the match, ladies and gentlemen. From the body language, I could, uh, you know, presume that uh, Haryana has won the match. So Haryana is the winner in this tie breakup, and now we are moving towards the. Uh, uh, semi-final matches. In the semi-final matches, uh, uh, in the Indian Ground Women's team, Manipur will be against Chakoa, Goa, uh, Jharkhand is going to meet Maharashtra, Gujarat will meet Uttar Pradesh and Telangana will be meeting Assam. And uh, in the Indian Ground Men's event, Assam will be meeting Goa, Bihar will be meeting Maharashtra, Haryana will be meeting SSCB and Chhattisgarh will be meeting Jharkhand. And uh, right now, uh, the winner is Assam. So Assam is now going to, in the semi-finals, is going to meet uh, Maharashtra. 
and uh, Haryana is going to meet Chhattisgarh. Uh, you are watching the uh, semi-finals and in the Indian round, man. And ladies and gentlemen, let's move to the semi-finals.